Hi guys, my name is Nikunj Kanani. Yesterday, in our last lecture, we see how can we enable our cron command and how can we run the cron job. Also, we see some more command that daily we use for the for the Magento and for the Docker's. Today, I will see show you how can we configure mailbox services in our Docker environment setup. Here, I have added some come step in our documentation how can we configure malloc services so now let's we will see this how can we add malloc services in our docker set environment setup first step is we need to add malloc services in docker dot magento dot in the dot magento dot docker yml file so i am adding this services in this file Here I am adding in the services tab mailhook. Version is 1.0 and image is mailhook. Okay, now I am saving th this file. Let's move on next step. Next step, next step is we need to rebuild our docker.compose yml file. So I am running this command to rebuild the, my docker.compose file. So I am adding sudo here because I don't want any kind of permission related issue. sorry it's a uh, spelling mistakes it's a sudo oh, sorry yeah my file is built it successfully uh, okay I'm open open this file docker dot compose dot yml So more here I am checking a uh, malloc services container is added added. Okay. So uh, now we need to correct some some things. Uh, well, first of all we need to correct elastic search images path. So I am uh, correcting this path. Uh, we already discussed in first video. We need to also correct a uh, malloc services image path. Uh, it's also one issue for the image path. So I am correct correcting this path okay now it's uh, completely corrected so now we I need to let's we move on next step next step is we need to add the configure variable in docker dot config dot yml file so I am trying to add this variable in this file sorry for I am copying this file copy the command and uh, op madding the in the docker.config file oh, sorry it's an internet issue okay not an issue um, config.env okay i am adding here okay i have added uh, variable send mail e path equal to m as send mail uh, iphone iphone smtp of our address this mail of is a our container name so our container or uh, sorry I may say what our container name is this malloc so, okay so now I'm saving this now next we need to move on next step okay the next step is oh it's uh, optional but depend on uh, our uh, environment uh, uh, our setup is completely success or we uh, it's two options one is uh, we are doing fresh setup either we are uh, adding this in our existing setup if you if you are adding the uh, malloc service in our existing setup so we need to use we need to for, for follow this for fourth uh, come of step otherwise we need don't we not uh, required to follow this step okay so a uh, first step is we, i need to remove my container so i am removing this my removing my existing container 
so is first of all is stopping the whole container yeah it's a stop and removing now i need to uh, recreate container so to i so i am using bin set magento docker up command so it's recreate my container it's a take some time because of is uh, uh, creating newly creating container yeah my container is created now i'm checking my oh, magento is running well yeah my magento is uh, running well okay now let's go next one fourth step fifth step last step is accessing our mail so i have here added a uh, uh, link here mail of is um, our port is uh, open port is uh, 8025 so i am adding here uh, magento to docker colon 8025 so my mail of uh, containers uh, is uh, run successfully and now let's check ki magento is integrate or not so i am creating the uh, creating one account so if so you know ki probability when you merge into create account so customer is getting the welcome mail so i am here i am creating my account so i check we check uh, uh, i am getting or not may okay uh, so now my email address is uh, so and password is uh, i am adding same password in whatever you use in admin i think uh, it's a uh, not uh, accessible let's your password oh, okay i'm adding one more special character okay copy paste and create a account oh, don't save so okay my account is created successfully now let's we check oh, uh, i i have i have one mail registration mail successfully in mail log or not okay let's i'm going on mail log okay yeah my both mail are received one is uh, my welcome mail for the registration and one more is a newsletter subscription mail right so my mail of services is integrated with uh, uh, magento is successfully okay guys so i hope you will enjoy this video and please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend so i hope you have today you will all get some better how can we configure our mail of services in our docker environment setup thank you so much